it just seems like it's the cost benefit analysis is just not working out on my side. Tara is one step closer to getting a casino. Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. The bill that would bring a casino to Terre Haute is now moving to the Indiana House for a vote. It's a story that we've been covering for you. News Sarah Lehman joins us now. She's gotten reaction from people living here about the real possibility of a casino. Rondrell, just about two years ago, Terre Haute tried to get a casino to come to town, but it was shut down rather quickly. Now the possibility of this new attraction coming here is becoming very real. It's been in the works for years. Terre Haute officials trying to get the green light to bring a casino to the area. Now that bill is moving forward. Uh, it's now out of the Senate, but it, you know, there are still now some hoops to uh, uh, jump through, and uh, I think we're prepared to do it. Uh, we've had strong support from the community uh, to this point, and we we expect that to continue through the House uh, deliberations. But support from the community also comes with those who don't want the casino here. People like Salanda Brown. Brown says the casino will do more harm than good. I feel like in that aspect, I always look to who's going to benefit from that, and I don't see it benefiting the people who actually need it. She makes the argument that bringing something like this here won't help those who might already have or are vulnerable to gambling problems. I see it actually being a detriment to, what, to the people who are already struggling with addiction. But Haynes says... In the situation uh, that we have here in Indiana with our gambling, uh, with our gaming commission, those types of problems are addressed. He says the biggest thing is this is going to be an economic boom to Terre Haute and also bring plenty of jobs. But Brown says she doesn't think the pros outweigh the cons. I don't think it's going to help the economy in the way that they're saying it is. I think it's going to help certain people and it, it will help those people and not, not the rest of us. And if there brings jobs, it's going to be the same old minimum wage jobs we've already been getting. So it's not really a difference. Now there are a mix of people in the community who are for or against the casino, all for their own reasons. The bill has not been voted on yet at the House, but News 10 will continue to cover this story for you. Reporting live in the newsroom, Sarah Lehman, News 10, back to you.